Good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. Welcome to Soul Food Sunday. Heir to the throne. So I was reading the message this morning. But before I was reading the message, I had this dream. Now, you could be from the fifth ward. You could be dealing with somebody in the fifth ward. Okay. You could have a five or a nine in your age, phone number, or date of birth. But I did pick up that Baton Rouge may be of a significance to somebody as well. But there is going to be some type of hostility. Okay. And this could be around you or with someone that you know. But I do feel as if there's going to be a transition of a soul. This person could reside in the fifth world, fifth world, okay, fifth ward. I do feel as if somebody here, this person could sell crack cocaine. This is not for everybody. Okay? But I do feel as if if it, they don't sell it, this could have something to do with some type of drug. Drug exchange or interaction. I also feel as if this situation is going to take place between five to nine o'clock at night. And it can happen within the next five to nine days or hours. This person could go by the name of Vic. Now, when I woke up, the scripture was Psalm 55. And I said, my God, these fives. Some of you guys may be seeing the number five indicating a change, a change in your situation. Okay. I do feel as if somebody here is about to go through a important relationship lesson that is going to Open up their eyes to not only their behavior, but the way it impacts other people. Okay. Before we get into the message, all right, let's go ahead and give God the best of the best. All right. Song is awesome, Charles Jenkins and the Fellowship, Chicago. Next song, more than anything, Lamar Campbell. Mm -hmm. Because of you, my 
Somebody has calcification or buildup in the heart. Somebody also has a heart and heart. Refusing to change. Something or someone to be dealing with rejection. But to be rejected by God. The worst rejection you could ever feel. But it is because of the work of a person's hand that puts them in a position of being accepted or rejected. And God's approval means more than man. Whose acceptance are you seeking? Whose approval are you looking for? And when man rejects you, God accepts you. So the more that you are rejected by man, the more you are accepted. As long as you are walking in his purpose. God's spirit. Do you possess him? And if we say that we possess his spirit, what is our work looking like? Father God, I ask that you will come into this atmosphere. We come to you through your son, Christ Jesus, Yahshua, Elohim, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nis, the great I am, the Alpha and the Omega. Father God, we want to give you thanks and praise for everything that you have done, for opening up our eyes when we were yet in the darkness. Father God, for waking us up, clothing us in our right frame of mind, for keeping us far from iniquity, walking with us through trials and tribulations, Father God, we thank you for the roof over our heads and the clothes on our back. For correcting us when we are wrong. Just like a father corrects a child that he loves. Father God, we thank you for the victory, for the triumphs, for being able to overcome anxiety, depression, Addictions, a lack mentality. Father God, we thank you for showing us how to move forward, how to let go of those things that do not serve us. Father God, show us how to love you just as you love us. Show us what unconditional love is. And help us to bestow favor upon those that at times we may feel like don't deserve. And just as you have bestowed favor upon us. Father God, we give you thanks and praise. Lord, I ask that you will keep them as they go to and from work. Keeping them covered. Keeping their children's covered. In your son name I pray. Amen and I shame. Somebody needs to definitely get some renter's insurance, okay? Now, let's go over to the word. Let's go over to the word. Psalm 55. Huh. Listen to my prayer, O oh God. Do not ignore my plea. Hear me and answer me. My thoughts trouble me, and I am distraught. Because of what my enemy is saying, because of the threats of the wicked, for they bring down suffering on me and assail me in their anger. 
My heart is in anguish within me. The terrors of death have fallen on me. Fear and trembling have beset me. Horror has overwhelmed me. I said, oh, that I had the wings of a dove. I would fly away and be at rest. I would flee far away and stay in the desert. I would hurry to my place of shelter, far from the tempest and storm. Lord, confuse the wicked, confound their words. For I see violence and strife in the city. Day and night, they prowl about on its walls. Malice and abuse are within it. Destructive forces are at work in the city. Threats and lies never leave its streets. If an enemy were insulting me, I could endure it. If a foe were rising against me, I could hide. But it is you, a man like myself, my companion, my close friend, with whom I once enjoyed sweet fellowship at the house of God, as we walked about among the worshipers. Let death take my enemies by surprise. Let them go down alive to the realm of the dead, for evil finds lodging among them. As for me, I call to God, and the Lord saves me. Evening, morning, and noon, I cry out in distress, and he hears my voice. He rescues me unharmed from the battle waged against me, even though many oppose me. God, woe is enthroned from of old. Who does not change? He will hear them and humble them because they have no fear of God. My companion attacks his friends. He violates his covenant. His talk is smooth as butter, yet war is in his heart. His words are more soothing than oil, yet they are drawn swords. This was the actual verse that was the scripture for today, Psalms 55 and 22. You could have a five or a 22 in your phone number, age or date of birth, okay? Cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. But you, God, will bring down the wicked into the pity of decay. The bloodthirsty and deceitful will not live out half of their days. But as for me, I trust in you. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of his word. So, some of you guys may be at a place in your life where you are wanting to flee. Flee from the attacks. Flee from what people are saying. Where you just want to flee. There's a desire to want to get away from your situation. You have a lot that's going on, a lot that you're thinking about. But what I found to be very eye-opening was that half of their days had been cut short. Whose days, right? Right? Those who disturb the path of the righteous. Those that try to stand in God's way of your purpose. See, then I kind of looked at the message that was yesterday. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans that I have for you, saith the Lord. Thoughts to prosper you. See, God already had a plan for your life. And a lot of you guys are walking in your purpose. You have aligned yourself with his plan. See, when he has some plans for you, that means he got something for you to do. That means you got a calling. See, and when you get that calling on your life to walk in a purpose, you oftentimes have foes that come up against you. You create enemies along the journey. See, he never said that the journey would be easy. 
He never said that it would go without you being unscathed. People picking at you. People wanting to confront you. People wanting you to conform to what their ideologies are. Hmm. Excuse me, Roscoe. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Malice and abuse. Hmm. See, some people abuse the information that they have been given. Going back on things that they have said or done to deter you from your purpose. See, but God don't forget. God has the authority to cut somebody's time short. Let's start at the beginning. Listen to my prayer, oh God, do not ignore my plea. So a lot of you guys have been praying for change. You have been hoping for some type of change, to see a change in your situation. Hear me and answer me. My thoughts trouble me and I am distraught. So someone here has been going through a lot mentally, your mind racing, you're fixated on the issue, but see, you cannot see how things are going to play out, what the outcome of the situation is going to be. And some of you guys are having a hard time even figuring out what the lesson currently is. Why do I keep coming across the same situation or the same person? What is it that you were expecting me to learn from this situation? Because you feel as if you have learned enough. You've seen enough. But see, it tells me that you are distraught because of what somebody is saying. Because of words. And as we know from James chapter 3, that the tongue is a very powerful tool. Defamation of character. Gossip. See, when we look at this, because of what my enemy is saying. Hmm. Well, see, if you are in alignment with your purpose, then that means that an enemy is going to be somebody who is a lover of the world. Because when you are aligned with your highest self and with God, that means you are in alignment ultimately with him. So if somebody is an enemy of yours, then that makes them an enemy of God. You know that you are a throne, an heir to the throne of David. Now, if they talked about Jesus, Yahshua, as I call him, why would they not talk about you? They intentionally positioned themselves before him to try to catch him up. on not just one occasion, but multiple. Not only that, he selected his Judas. He selected the 12 disciples. See, oftentimes the enemy in your life, the Judas in your life is somebody that you have ultimately aligned yourself with at one point in time. See, because the enemy cannot have access unless you have given them some type of access. How much access are you giving to the Judas in your life, to what people are saying? See, if you cut off somebody's access to you, 
what could they really say about you? And even when you do decide to cut access from that person, you have then created an enemy. And you still have a Judas to deal with. Because people do not like to feel rejected. See, when you cut somebody off, it is a form of rejection. It is saying that we are no longer in alignment with each other. Some people do not see this as an opportunity of growth, but yet they are looking at it as competition. And when you are dealing with a contentious spirit, they are not just going to walk away very easily. The threats of the wicked, for they bring down suffering on me and assail me in their anger. See, out of all the emotions that we can have, anger is the one emotion that can cause you to lose everything. Because an angry person will say some very hurtful and vindictive things. And see, when somebody challenges you or somebody says something to you or about you that is not true, what does it do? It makes you angry. And then you are matching low vibrational energy with low vibrational energy. See, it is a ploy to get you to step outside of your alignment, because if I can get you to step outside of your alignment, then I can delay what you have. We always talk about this. They don't delay you. They intervene with God. And sometimes we, let's be honest, can intervene with God's purpose in somebody else's life each time we go back to a situation or we want to align ourselves back with something or someone that was not conducive to our highest good. See, to everybody. We all worship different gods. We have different belief systems. And your God, my God, is somebody else's God enemy. But don't it feel good to be on the winning team? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Let's go down says in six, oh, that I had the wings of a dove. I will fly away and be at rest. See, a lot of you are wanting to get away. You have a desire to want to run from the situation. You just want peace. And it's not really running from dealing with the situation at hand. You just have nothing left to give to a situation that is not going to really matter along this journey in your life. What somebody says, ask yourself, is it going to matter in three to five years? Somebody about to get three to five. Jesus. Roscoe, are you okay? Get out of here. Your, your stomach is cutting up in church. You want to flee. It said, Lord, confuse the wicked, confound their words, for I see violence and strife in the city. I have to be honest with you. A lot of you guys, your enemy, the enemy, even for those of you that have platforms. So you have enemies that watch you. And a lot of you guys already know. But when we give these messages, so you have to remember that God will allow people to have a veil placed over their eyes. See, they're not really able to interpret some of the key things that are meant for his chosen. 
you have to remember the Tower of Babel, baby. Everybody was looking and trying to get to heaven. They wanted to know what was going on. What happened? Now everybody speaks different languages. Spirituality is a different language. Talking to your ancestors, talking to God requires a different language. That's why everybody cannot comprehend the connection that you have with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Honey, sometimes you can just sit there and just hum and the Holy Spirit is translating a message. An accessory prayer. See, sometimes you don't know what to ask for. And when you get to hum and the Holy Spirit is the one who is translating that message unto the Father. Therefore, Everybody that you come in contact with is not going to be able to understand the language that you speak. They're not going to understand the messages that you receive. And it's not meant for them to understand. See, they may have basic knowledge and basic understandings of the intricate workings, but they know nothing about the master or the master plan. That is why you cannot fear what the next person knows or the information that they have. Because let me tell you something, what the devil means for bad, God will use for your good. God will never give your enemy the intimate details of the plan or your purpose. Because an enemy unto you is an enemy to God. Because he has designed you this very hour for something specific. Everybody has a purpose. Some people's purpose is to lead other nations unto him. And some people's purpose is to be a challenging spirit. Because if you don't have a challenging spirit, God can never show you his abilities to overcome a situation because sometimes we get so ecstatic with our own gifts that we like to think that we did. Now, he said, I'm going to show you that I did. It is because the purpose that I have for you I will never let your enemies take you captive. Baby, if he can part the Red Sea, then what make you think he won't do it now? If he was turning water into wine, what make you think he won't turn your enemy into some swine? Because the last time I checked, The pig was the very thing that ran off of the edge of the cliff when he was casting out devils and demons. Do you know your strength? Do you know the power that you possess? Day and night they prowl about on its walls. Malice and abuse are within it. Destructive forces are at work in the city. Threats and lies never leave its streets. Hmm. See, the very thing that some people want to run to these streets are the very thing that abuse them, that lie to them, that misuse them. And let's be honest. Some of us want to take somebody off the street. Baby, give them back to the streets where they belong. See, sometimes we allow people to keep us stagnant because of the enemy or the Judas that you choose. The one you decide to give your number out to. The one that you say, I'm going to call you later. Or the one with the nice smile or the nice car. ultimately is the one 
who can either deter you from your purpose, babe, or this is the person that God has brought to help you grow. But the only way for you to know who the Judas is in your life is to truly be in alignment with your higher self and with God. He reveals key things in people that you deal with. So you will see a contentious spirit before it ever even turns on you. See, there were certain things that Judas did and certain things that he said. Please believe God wasn't ignorant to it. Because when you are dealing with somebody who is malicious, their intent, their involvement, they're not always there. They don't always celebrate you. And then when they come around, they side eye you. But they like to sweet talk you in private. But what do they do in public? See, we all have signs and we all have the freedom to choose. Be mindful of what it is that you are choosing and who you are aligning yourself with. And you be mindful that you are not somebody's enemy. You are not somebody's Judas. You are not throwing somebody off of course. If an enemy were insulting, I could endure. If a foe were raising, rising against me, I could hide. But it is you, a man like myself, my companion, my friend, with whom I once enjoyed sweet fellowship at the house of God, as we walk among the worshipers. Said if this was a foe, be cool. But if you listen to that, see, baby, that's oftentimes somebody that you know. With whom I once enjoyed sweet fellowship. See, this is somebody that some of you guys, you could be in a spiritual community with this person. You can connect spiritually with this person. You could have been in some type of fellowship with this person. There was some form of communication. Some of you guys may be feeling as if somebody is changing on you or you uh, may be changing on somebody. Somebody is not able to handle this. Let death take my enemies by surprise. I think, that's, I think that speaks in itself. Don't you agree, family? Let them go down alive to the realm of the dead. For evil finds lodging among. Okay. Going through a period of distress. I do feel as if your enemies, those who try to come up against you, okay, especially for those of you who have been trying to be steadfast in your walk. Uh oh. What? Where did that go? Mmm. For well, I know the plans and I can't reach it. Oh, son, they can't reach it. They can't reach it. This flew all the way behind my computer. Chess. So somebody here is trying to play chess, They're trying to come up with a strategy, or they tried to come up with the strategy. If you guys are interested in these cards, these are the transformation deck. Uh, we have these for sale over at the website. Okay. So somebody here is trying to strategize. But I do feel as if their plans have been set ablaze. Okay. You are the person that you're dealing with could wear corrective lenses. Somebody also... Um, could have washed their hair or needs to wash their hair. Somebody has some dandruff. Okay. This person has been sitting here trying to study you. Trying to figure out your next move. But see, they are confused. 
There is a cloud of smoke. Some of you guys may have been saging, having a desire to sage. I feel as if this plan that this person has come up with not only hasn't blown up in their face and they're having to re-strategize, but this person is angry. This person is furious. And somebody also has a yeast infection. Who shy? I know we, we don't never talk about that up in church. Okay. Some going on down yonder. Who shy? Somebody keeps taking baths. And it ain't work. <clears throat> <clears throat> Ooh, child. Is that why you keep moving in that seat, baby? Could be dealing with a fire sign or a water sign. Somebody's got something going on with their um their sexual organs. Okay. I'm I'm sorry. That's all I I mean. That's all I can see. It's smoky down there. Smoky. All right, y'all. We in touch. So somebody is trying to come up with a strategy. Definitely could be dealing with the fire sign of Leo. Okay. I do feel as if somebody here is trying to be serious. Somebody here has a hole where their heart used to be, or somebody could have a hole in their heart. I do feel as if, if you are dealing with some type of um, hardening of the heart, any issues of the heart, I do feel as if um, it's going to take a lot of strength for you to recover. Somebody here may be seeing um, a lot of sixes. The number six may be significant. Somebody here could be 66 or born June 6th okay, through June 12th. Yoruba, Yoruba may be of a significance. Somebody here could have a dream catcher. I feel as if your dreams are providing you with the strategy or with what's taking place. Somebody here could um, have like some elephant tusk. And I do feel as if buffalo wild wings may be of a significance to someone. Someone could also like to eat buffalo fish or catfish nuggets. Somebody is in their head trying to figure out the next move. They realize it's going to take a lot of strength. And I do feel as if somebody here is trying to tap into their ancestral lineage. I also pick up somebody here using some um, underground, underground, okay, um, deities from the underworld. Somebody here was trying to use some type of deities um, from the underworld. Osiris. Ish Lamavik. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Somebody speaks um, Ish Lamavik. I don't know what that is. Or it sounds like that. Wait a minute. What did the Bible just it say? Hold on. Let death take my enemies by surprise. Let them go down alive to the realm of the dead. I love this fire. Somebody here has been using salonite or crystals, quartz crystals. 
Somebody here has been doing different types of chants. Somebody here has been summoning or trying to summon something. There's a hole in my heart. That's what I hear is, um, is the lyrics that are playing. There's a hole in my heart. My soul is tired. I'm tired of the way he treats me, tired of the, the feelings. I think that's Kelly Price tired. Somebody's tired and they're trying to come up with a strategy. They're trying to show face. Somebody here may ex be experiencing some choking at night. You could have woke up um, coughing. Somebody here could be going through some type of spiritual attack, okay? But I do feel as if you are protected. And again, this is somebody that is supposedly a friend of yours, okay? I do feel as if you've been scratching your head about the situation or this person. It takes a lot of strength for you to get to this harvest, the golden egg. A golden egg may be of some type of significance. Somebody here could even be some type of chef. Sushi. You could like sushi. But here you are. It takes a lot of strength to reach this harvest. I do feel as if there is some ancestral presence surrounding this situation. Somebody is dealing with someone who is left-handed. Bottom of the deck, the trickster. The bottom of the deck, the trickster. Crucified with sinners. They crucified two criminals with him, one on his right and one on his left. So the scripture was fulfilled that says, and he was counted among outlaws. Mark 15, 27 through 28. So crucified with sinners, just like we said earlier, if they talked about him, they talked about God. We talked about Yeshua. Thank you so much for your love, support, and donation. What makes you think that they're not going to crucify you? Some of you guys may be feeling crucified this week. And I do feel as if you're going to have to come up with some type of strategy, especially when it comes to you maneuvering disappointments, challenging conversations, challenging energies and people. Okay. Somebody could have a tattoo on their thigh. I do feel as if somebody likes to wear some um, decorative fish stockings, okay? You know, somebody is looking to crucify you because what it is that you have, because of your strength, because of the power that you possess, because of your lineage and you being an heir to the throne. See, that comes with a great deal of responsibility. This journey is constantly going to be about you coming up with strategies, more than one. It's all about you strategizing. So why do they keep saying it's all about you strategizing? Because somebody here wants to steal and yet they crucify you. See, the real issues with the Pharisees were they did they could not accept the truth because the truth made them look at themselves. And when you address the truth and you present it and it cancels out the lie that has been told. 
people oftentimes want to gaslight and act as if you are the one that's in the wrong and you have to look at the majority and the minority. Christ was the minority. See, it was majority rules and the Pharisees had to exert their power over him in the physical because they could not control the spiritual. They had no control over that. So there was a strategy, just like in your situation, people have to try to strategize and attack you in the physical because they cannot acquire what you have spiritually. See, Yeshua wasn't concerned about storing up anything here on earth. Why would it even matter? This is not where he dwells. See, those who are constantly trying to store up stuff and come up with ideas on how they can acquire something of the physical, they have yet to realize that for one, their days are cut in half, but for two, they will never be able to live long enough to see the blessings of what it is that you are birthing because it is not guaranteed for them. And the temporary pleasures of this world mean nothing when it comes to the next. And that's where people lack true understanding. Does not matter how much money you have. It does not matter who has the biggest bank account. Baby, we will all go into a six foot. And guess what? I've never seen a celebrity be able to take their money with them. I've never seen an entrepreneur be able to take their business with them. The only thing that you take is the only thing that you brought in this world. And that is your soul. That is your spirit. That is the heart space. What are you doing with your heart? What are you storing up? Because in the beginning, I said that somebody had a heart and heart. So this is someone that you are dealing with heartless. Look at that face. Honey, a face only your mama could love. Roscoe, you okay? Not going to feed you that no more. Some chicken jerky. God. Poor baby little stomach. That's y'all baby there. And I like, um, I think it's Blue Trail or Blue Mountain or something. I like them. Put my pet on. Yeah, I know now. All right, so my ancestors, what messages you got? What messages you got? I know they just like humans, honey. You give them the wrong snack. Poor baby. You got to hurry up and get up out of church. I love y'all. What messages do you got? Bottom of the deck, Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. So somebody is coming up with a strategy. Woo, child. I'm nervous. This death card. Jesus. First thing I said this morning was about death. Okay. And that message about death is not for everybody. All right. But we have death. Transformation. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. Somebody here is trying to strategize. Jesus be a fan. Ooh. Ace of coins. Okay. And judgment. Mm, somebody is other, under judgment. Overall energy, the devil. Ooh, I just got to chill. Mm, mm, mm. See, it's only one way. See, this is somebody who loves having a good time. And somebody could be trying to even crucify you. Okay. But somebody here is thinking of very worldly type things. That's where their focus has been. 
And that's where their focus will always be. It's one way it's about this person. They like to live a fast life. They like to enjoy all of the frivolous pleasures that bring them no real spiritual prosperity or even resolution to their issues. See, the devil is going to be crucified with sinners. Lovers of the world, lovers of money. See, people will do just about anything for money. Not all people. See, money is not the issue. It is what people will do to obtain money. And that's what you have to look at. The length that a person will go through, will go to, to get money. And it does not have to be, you know, some, somebody here been stealing from an elderly person. Who child? Somebody here has been stealing money from an elderly woman, a masculine energy. Okay. Somebody feels as if it's only one way to get something accomplished or to get what it is that they want. If you guys are interested in this deck, it's over at the website. Um, sold out the first day. Thank you guys. But inbox me. Okay. And I'll let you know when the next uh, shipment is coming. Okay. And yes, I make sure to give y'all the best deals. Okay. Even try to outbeat Amazon on the price. And so come holla at your girl. Gotcha. But this person, somebody here has is abusing elderly people. This woman is a widow. Somebody is living off of somebody's check. They get on the 1st and the 15th. My ears are burning. Oh, my ears are burning. And this person does not know how, how to stop, when to stop. Somebody takes advantage of the elderly. And it's not just the elderly woman. This is not the first elderly woman. This is multiple elderly people. There's even a masculine, an older masculine um, person. He could like to wear dobs, hats, okay? But somebody here, there, somebody's trying to strategize and get somebody's checks after they pass away. Oh, my God. Mm, Jesus, have mercy. This is so sad. I feel like crying. I don't know why. I just got an overwhelming feeling of wanting to cry. Somebody, this is sad. Somebody is plotting on elderly people. Somebody is getting checks from people who have passed away. They find people's wallets. Somebody here is about to transition. This is a feminine energy. This person could have went to some type of party. They have a tattoo on their right arm. Somebody could have been recently drinking. Somebody is drinking because they're sad. This is so sad. Okay, let's get back to um, this message. Somebody is faded. Somebody has anxiety really bad because my chest is feeling really heavy. I feel like there's a ton of bricks sitting on my chest. And somebody struggles with breathing. Either you have asthma or you have anxiety. Somebody here has been trying to strategize because they have been doing some low vibrational things. And this may even be you. I do feel as if somebody may need some type of assistance, but they may have some type of shame or embarrassment because of their behavior. Watch y'all wallets around somebody. This could be, um, excuse me, somebody that is a Scorpio. Somebody is trying to steal your wallet. Um, make sure you don't put money in your back pocket. Somebody has a habit of doing that. 
and somebody could like see like a 20 hanging out your back pocket. Somebody is also a coin collector and somebody here has a jewelry box. This jewelry box can be brown. I do feel as if somebody here could be um, using like some type of a uh, thing that helps you like level out pictures or something on the wall. Somebody here is also sick. Okay. Very sick. I feel as if this is sick, like from drinking, over drinking. Some, okay. Somebody may leave some. Okay. This is for one person. There's going to be a woman. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how to say this. Oh, Jesus. There's going to be a woman. This woman is blonde, not blonde, brunette, or she has brown hair, sandy brown hair. Okay, her name could be Sandy or Brown. Has a tattoo on her right arm. She could like to wear pink, Victoria's Secret, or the color pink. This person could wear their hair down. This person sent a message to somebody. They got an offer to go out with someone. This man is supposed to come and pick them up, flashing money, um, showing them a good time. Be careful because somebody is never going to see this woman. If you are this woman and somebody tries to entice you with money, with drugs, with alcohol, with very low vibrational things, please be careful because somebody is never coming back. When they walk out this door, whoever this woman is, okay? Why? Because they are dealing with somebody who is a criminal. Somebody also likes to watch Criminal Minds. This person drives down the wrong way on a one way. Some of you guys may find yourself driving down the wrong way on a one way. There's a need for you to want to get away from something or someone that could be a, a bad crowd, a low vibrational crowd. Somebody here is trying to come up with a strategy on how to end a situation. But I do feel as if it takes a lot of strength for you to walk away from whatever this low vibrational energy is. This could be obsessive thinking. You know, this could be spending money on weed. This could be popping bottles. OK. Because I do feel as if somebody is needing to start, to start thinking about the long haul. OK. When you retire, things like that, that is some of some type of significance paying off a vehicle. OK. You know, I do feel as if somebody here may come towards you and say that they've changed and try to smooth out this situation by giving you some type of offer. But I feel as if you're dealing with somebody who is up under judgment. OK, somebody is up under judgment for what it is that they have reaped. You know, somebody is reaping what it is that they have sown. You could be dealing with a Capricorn energy or you yourself could be a Capricorn. OK, somebody here could be a petty theft or a petty thief doing some type of petty theft. This could be with vehicles also. Somebody here has been driving around smoking weed in your vehicle. You definitely need to stop doing that. Somebody here has a lot of traffic um, tickets, okay? And somebody does not pay traffic tickets. Somebody's gonna start seeing some ravens or some crows, okay? Somebody is not paying attention while they are driving and somebody is gonna go through the windshield of a car, Jesus. It's not for everybody. That is for somebody who is not paying attention while they're driving. This person is going to go down. Be careful. Somebody may go down a one way street drinking and driving at nighttime. One person is on the right. You're going the right way. Somebody will be coming directly towards somebody on a one way, please be careful. Is that correct? Hmm. <sighs> 
My condolences. My condolences. If somebody has recently transitioned, passed away, somebody does. This person is still around you. You see this? Somebody is being called home. This ain't for everybody. So they're going to try to do CPR. Somebody here could be an ambulance driver. Somebody is a do not resuscitate. <clears throat> Two of Wands. Knight of Wands. Fire Energy. For those of you that are speeding, you need to slow down, especially you speeding and listening to some uh, listening to your music. You got your music cut all the way up. You need to cut your music down. Yeah. Will of Fortune. So this somebody's look is changing. This situation is changing. You got the overall energy, the devil card. You started out the first card. That was death. You end with the will of fortune, but you also have judgment here. Things are changing for somebody. And I do feel as if for a lot of you guys, this is an enemy or someone around you, someone that you may have been dealing with. Ancestors, what messages do you have? Jesus. On that day, the deaf will hear the words of a document and out of the deep darkness, the eyes of the blind will see Isaiah 29 and 18 prophecy. The blind see. It's time for the blind to see. Ministry in Galilee. Okay. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. What is it that the blind is going to see? They're going to see God's perspective. God is going to show them who he is. Okay. Again, I feel as if that is the this could, is something like the people that you are dealing with. That's something that is transpiring in their family, their life. Could be like one or two people here who may experience something like that. But for the overall, this feels as if this is towards the enemies. Is this correct? What it, that message? Jeez. Is this anybody in the collective's family, them, themselves? So people are about to, it's about to start um, changing their perspective. Okay. Initiation. Somebody here is going through the initiation process. And I do feel as if somebody here was blinded by what it was that they were trying to, for those who were doing dark magic, blinded to who actually you were. See, when you're dealing with other low vibrational people, not saying that it's okay, but you can sling and this is, you really want me to say that word. I need to talk to my daddy. You can sling shit amongst other deities and people of low vibrational energy, not sling shit at the deities. But if you're doing low vibrational things, you know, and somebody is of this world, 
and you're trying to cast things amongst them, y'all casting stuff against each other. That's between you, that deity, and that person. But when you step towards a prophet or you step towards somebody who walks with God, he said, cast your burdens to me. The verse for today, cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous be shaken. He will never let his children be shaken. Not even by anything that somebody else has tried to conjure up. See, people watch you very closely. Trying to see your perspective on the situation. Before they couldn't. But baby, the blind will see because one thing that you do not play with is God. He said, I will make your enemies your footstool. Oh, that's the devil. Let me shuffle these back up. Look, they gonna look. The blind will see the perspective of the devil. Ooh, Nervous to You play with anybody else in them streets. Okay, what do you say? You play with anybody else in them streets. Don't come around here. And it's not working. Whatever somebody was trying to do, it's not working. Perspective, the hangman. So now they see why they've been stagnant. And I do feel as if somebody here is very frustrated with themselves. Excuse me. Because look at the Holy Spirit, the dove. Even in stagnancy, baby, you are protected. And people are trying to figure out, why ain't you losing oxygen? How are you just able to stay suspended in midair like this? Your arms ain't tired. Look at how people are looking at you. Because they ain't got no upper body scrimp. No. Because you got the Holy Spirit that has helped you along this journey. You got people hollering at you, screaming at you. Look at this little girl. Talking to you all kind of crazy. And look at you, you just holding on, hanging in there. Suspended midair. And people don't like it and they don't understand it. But it's not for them to like or understand because when you have an assignment, you're supposed to get to wake. Thank you guys for your love and support. I enjoyed you guys. Head over to the website, okay, if you're interested in the decks. I love you guys. Have a wonderful week, okay? Um, and my condolences to anybody who is experiencing this. All right. Let's get to the to February's readings. Now, I got Aquarius. Who else should we do today? What y'all want to do today? Aquarius and just give me two more. Don't mean I'm going to do them all, but who y'all want to see for February? What you say your ex-co-worker was smothering the patient, his patients and they finally arrested him? Girl, oh child. I hope I hope that wasn't him we was just reading about. Thank you for confirming. But whoever that was abusing them elderly people, they know they wrong. Who they know they wrong. All right, what we got? We got Virgo, Libra, Leo. We already did Gemini. Gemini is session two. It's already up. It's before this. Girl, that is so sad. I can't believe he was doing that to the patients. My God. Uh-oh. Sag, Virgo, Cancer, Cappy. Cap, 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 cap. All right, all right, all right. All right. Libra, Libra. 
Okay, okay. So I got an idea of who I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do um Aquarius for show. Yeah, check Gemini out. Yeah, Aquarius, happy birthday, Aquarius. I got gotcha. y'all. Y'all getting one today for sure. Okay. Capricorn, Pisces. All right, all right. Yes, he did, honey. He said return to sender, okay? Now look at him over there. Got you all up under a microscope. Okay, trying to figure you out. Uh oh, yeah, I just heard some noises. Y'all, why y'all ancestors knocking on my walls? Let's see if y'all got a message. Let's see if y'all got a message real quick. I always feel like. <laughs> Yeah, that is, that is, girl. You right, you do got to be a special kind of um, evil for that. I can't believe he was smothering the patience. That is so sad. I mean, just let us know. Just let the people know. What city you in, man? He doing that in your city. I mean, they do it everywhere, but. How many, hold on, how many did he, did he kill before they caught him? How many, there is a presence here detected. How many did it take for them to catch him? That's the sad thing. Mm, my God. I know that really messed you up. I remember when working with my patients and stuff like that. You get close to them, so I don't even know how somebody can do that. Okay. So we got Taurus energy, angry. Turquoise, the stone is quartz. I could have swore earlier I said something about like clear quartz. So it's Brazil, floorboards, under. Ooh, somebody is up under a floorboard. Spirit animal. Spirit is an animal. Okay. Something is up under somebody's floorboards. Okay. They could have a 271 or a 9 in their phone number, age or date of birth. What is that? 19. Hmm. Something is about to be illuminated. Something is going to be illuminated um, like on the news or something like that. Something is up under somebody's floorboards. And somebody here is angry. There is an angry energy or angry spirit. Didn't I say anger earlier? Did I talk about anger earlier? I think I said something about anger and being angry and emotion or something. Okay, so somebody is angry. Okay. Now let's just see where your ancestors is at. And then we up out of here. Ancestors, oh, ancestors, y'all got anything y'all need to tell us? Any messages? Somebody, man. yeah, y'all gonna see something on the nose. You said he targeted wealthy patients and he stole high end jewelry. It was on the news in Dallas. <gasps> Girl, no. How many people did he? That is sad. How many people did that man kill? Jesus. Okay. So somebody got a 45. Somebody also got a Glock. <laughs> My y'all be. What you put the Glock? What you look? Forty-five might be about eight feet away from you. Move your finger. All right, all right, all right. 
So let's see, 17 may be of a significance to somebody here. Okay, so this is Aries energy, I believe. Anim animals are significant. I think I told you guys um, yesterday um, or Friday, maybe, you're going to receive messages from animals. Some of you guys, your spirit... Um, your spirit guide may be a animal or an ancestor or something. The stone is onyx. The color is turquoise. You could be rocking turquoise. That could be a color in your home. But this is a very loving spirit. OK, and it's dreaming, effort, pay, work, will and consistent. OK, so they're wanting you to be very consistent when it comes to your work, when it comes to making the effort to pay off any debt. OK, that you may own and definitely um, pay attention to your dream state because you are going to receive some dreams. So I think that's Aries. I think that's it. No, that's not Aries. That's Sagittarius. Oh, that's Sagittarius. I think that's Sagittarius sign. That one. Some of y'all may be an Aries or dealing with an Aries. Why did I say Aries? I think that's Sagittarius. I think that's Sagittarius. OK. 16. So even numbers. You also may be seeing the number seven. OK, there's a lot of mystery, a lot of change. To expect change when it comes to challenges. So if you were experiencing any challenges, that's going to change. Keep putting effort forward. OK, it's definitely going to pay off. Consistency, again, is key. I do feel as if some of you guys may receive some money for the work that you have done. OK, somebody could be paying you for some type of work. I do feel as if somebody here could be looking at their will. OK, somebody could be including you in their will or you could be including somebody in their will, in your will. Somebody needs to clean a gun. Or either you cleaned your gun. I keep hearing it. Um, I won't deny it. I'm a straight rider. You don't want to mess with me. I got the police with me, but you can't do nothing to a G. Okay, so I guess they can't do nothing to you. Yeah, sister said, I won't deny it. I'm a straight rider. You don't want to mess with me. Got the police messing with me. Be careful. Somebody here may... um. I have to deal with the police or come in contact with the police. All right. I love you guys. Have a wonderful Sunday. Bye, y'all. I won't deny it. I'm a straight.